Let's see what this says. Detective Julie and his assistant begin their search for the missing person of Dolma Street. Oh, come on, you have to help me. Dad's been out all day. Come on, we're going to find him. The missing person of interest went out very normally to get some food, only to become missing under mysterious circumstances. Detectives Mike and Tom Dooley are sent to look for clues in the other apartments. All right, boys, you were playing detective. What happened next? Flat number three is locked. Maybe the strange man who lives there has seen something, or maybe he saw too much. We will interrogate him later. Hey, where are you going? Wait, wait for me! Detective Julie's partner has left the area of investigation, no doubt in pursuit of some clue. It appears that he's gone down to the basement. I'm following his lead now. Okay, what now? Jesus.
You're back. Did you find Mike? Mike was his dog. He's dead. And so is his father. It wasn't even the infected, it was just some twisted creep. Oh, this place... It's too much for people. Listen, Crane. These are the keys to the museum storage. There's a lot of weapons from all different times. Maybe you'll find something useful there. Thanks, Tariq. Hey, but there's something else I want from you. Sure. Anything. You said you're not good with kids? No, not really. Well, get good. I will try. I give you my word.
Jade's being held hostage at the museum. You really suck at pep talks, Troy. Not my job, but good luck. We meet again. The last time we met, you took something of mine. Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rice. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand, too. Your choice! You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort first. Attack! Move it, boys, move it! Go, go, go! <sighs> Shove it up your ass! Go hard! 
That the best you got, Rise? I can do this all fucking day! Stop him before he runs again! Again. Find her, Craig. Come on. She won't wait for you forever.
No, not now. Jade? Oh shit. Oh shit, what have they done to you? Fine, Crane. To hear knock me over the head before he dumped me in here. Just give me a minute. Oh, I'll be right as rain. You do not have the luxury of a minute, Scorpion. In fact, what little time you have, you owe to me. Thanks to your repair of my antennas, Crane, I've listened to every word any of you have said. How do you suppose I found you, Miss Aldemir? Or the good Dr. Camden? How do you think I broke the connection between the sectors? I am the director of this film. And now that I have Zera's research, the GRE will do as I command them, which renders the two of you useless. Tahir! You took offense, Crane, as I recall, at being referred to as a trained monk. I look at you now, dancing for our amusement. You are strong enough to have joined me, but you lack the proper character. Consider this a character strengthening exercise. Let's get out of here. Oh, Jade, are, Jade, are you hurt? Did, they didn't bite you, did they? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just give me a second. Sweet little Jade is far from fine, Crane. She was bitten and infected hours ago. How noble of her to try and hide it from you. Biter got me on the leg. You didn't need to know. Once again, you find yourself with a choice, Crane. Your precious scorpion is about to turn. But so are you. Who will receive the antasy? Who has a hope of living through this encounter? It's up to you now. Jade, here. You take this. No! Oh, come on. Listen, I've still got some in my system. You need this worse than I do. Crane, I just want you to promise me one thing. When the time comes, you're the one who takes me out. What? No, I... Promise me! Jade, I, I can't. Jade, where are you? Jade? I need you to hear me, Crane. Jade, where are you? Jade?
I know you wanted to try and save me. Not everybody would have offered that vial the way you did. But it's too late for that now. It's too late for me. For a while I blamed you for Amir's death. I wanted to kill you. But I realized it was time for Amir. It was time for him to go. Everybody oh, shit. this finite crane. You can't deny it. It's pointless. We get here, and eventually we die. And there's no. nothing. Oh, no, please, not yourself. now. They will catch us. Oh my God! No, not this again. Oh. The only thing we can do is make what happens in between count. Save these people. They don't deserve all of them. Amir's life counted. And now he's gone. Rahim's life counted. And now he's gone. If sacrificing my life means saving everyone in Haram, then that's what I want to do. Oh, not again. Don't take that away from me, Cray. I was born premature. The doctors didn't think I was going to live. But I fought. I struggled and I fought. And I worked and worked and worked. I became a champion. I became the Scorpion. I left my mark on the world. It's my time now, Crane. You can't save me. You've got to let me save you. Let me save you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. One of us has to live, Kyle. You just remember what you promised me. All of this, and still you had your choice made for you. Disappointing, Craig. You, you, you and you. Get in there and kill them. Oh! <laughs> 
you recover from so then kill me no no I shouldn't I should just leave you here to suffer that's what you deserve yes then why don't you because you're not the kind of loose end you leave untied <laughs> Troy it's crane Troy, Jade... Jade's dead. Oh... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry, Crane. I, I mean it. What happened? Jade saved my life, Troy. Again. She died... saving me. Crane, you've still got to call off the Ministry. That's why Jade sacrificed herself, so you could do this. 
Is Savvy there? Has he figured out how to get a message through? Yes, but to do it, you need to meet me. I have to give you an amplifier that Savvy says can help us break through the signal jamming. I'll wait for you in the safe zone. Halfway to the antenna, we'll you'll need to mount the amp. Okay, Troy. On my way. <laughs> Jade and I are both infected, and Rice made us fight for Antizen. Dr. Camden, it's Crane. Do you copy? Crane. Good to hear you're still alive. Did you find Jade? Yeah, yeah. I found her. Listen, I also found Dr. Zara's tissue samples. I'll bring them to you, but first there's something else I need to do. I know, Doc, but I'm about to buy us time. I'll be in touch.
survive the week without your presence. So, what do I have to do? You need to install it at the highest place possible. That way we'll have the best chance to break through. Okay, so let me guess. I need to head out to that giant antenna tower at the edge of town? The fastest way is through the sewers. Savvy will guide you over the radio. So contact him when you get to the other side. And Crane, when you install the amp, make sure to set the correct frequency on your radio. Pull this off, and the entire world will hear you. <sighs> Let's hope so. See you, Troy.
We need to make sure the signal is strong enough to get past the jamming. Kid? No way. I didn't shut it up fast enough, shit.
Okay, how to get from here to up there. I gotta find a ledge or something.
Beautiful weather. Oh, this must be the place. <laughs> One day I'm gonna do this and end up landing on a bag of rusty knives. I just know it. Hey, Sav, are you there? Uh, yeah, man. You okay? I'm above ground and still in one piece. Oh, good. Now listen, you'll need the key card to the substation. Otherwise, there'll be no power to the antenna. Okay, where do I get this card? You'll have to search the containers. It'll be in one of them. Would I have to search the place? You mean the card might not even be here? No, no, it's, it's there, mate. It's just the last guy who tried to do something like this made it to one of the containers before we uh, lost contact with him.
These fuckers again. Oh! <laughs> 
Savvy, I'm in. Okay, good. Turn on the transformer.
Of course, it waits till I'm all the way up here to stop raining. Anyone who can hear me, please listen. My name is Kyle Crane, and I'm sending this message from inside the Huron quarantine. Colonel Tanner and the Ministry of Defense have lied to you. There are still survivors inside the walls. They plan to firebomb Huron, but if those bombs drop, you will know Tanner and the Ministry are cold-blooded murderers. Holy shit, there's someone alive in the quarantine zone? Hey, do you copy? Do you copy? It's Aldrin! <laughs> Too close. Crane, is that you? Do you copy? How the hell do you want? We want to offer you a chance to get out of that horrible place. Oh yeah? And why would you do that? I never found out who had your precious file. You don't even have to pay the rest of my fee. Water under the bridge, Kyle. We're best off just to move past that. All you need to do is to bring Dr. Zara's research with you, and we'll send a nice, safe helicopter to extract you. You realize I know what was in the file. I knew you were going to exploit the virus. Crane! Oh my god. You need the cure now for spin, don't you? That's the only way you could get out of this! Try to convince everyone you were working toward a cure the whole time! Don't be ridiculous. Bring us the research, and everything will be fine. You want the research? Just fucking wait for my signal. Savvy, you there? The amplifier's installed. Brilliant, Crane. Now just zip line down. That tunnel I mentioned is near where you land. Mr. Crane? Am I speaking to Mr. Crane? Yeah, this is Crane. Who's this? This is Vulcan Dahl. I'm with the brothers. Would you join us at the vehicle assembly facility? I'll provide the coordinates. I'll be there shortly. No, no, no! Nothing can go wrong with this plan.
I got a message out to the world, and just in time. The Ministry's bombers peeled off and left. Yes! Dr. Camden, this is Kyle Crane. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you on your way? I'm ready to work. Just bring me the samples. That's exactly what I intend to do, Doc. Just remember, I'm surrounded by an army of infected. Affirmative. Expect me soon. Good. Not like I'm going anywhere.
Name's Crane. Use the elevator. Push the button for the bottom floor. Got it. With Zara's research, Dr. Camden might actually have a I was sad to hear about Dr. Zara. He and I were thrilled to get the chance to study the Haran virus. And not to mention, the GRE paid us quite handsomely. Oh, by the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. I needed extra power for my last experiment, and the generators overheated and shut down. On my way. Corridor. The lab is on the left. When the outbreak happened, Sarah and I stayed in the quarantine to work on the cure. You know who was supposed to protect us? Kadir Suleiman. Rise himself. <laughs> that worked out just perfectly. Into the lab 
register in the decontamination room. The entrance is to the right. Everything went straight to hell after Rise's brother died, you know. Rise went from a guy with monstrous tendencies to a full-blown monster. You'll have to run the decontamination protocol to unlock the doors. It won't work without full power, though, if that's where the generators come in. Head to the offices. Once you're there, I'll point you in the right direction. All right, I'm on it. Zara and I got to safety with the help of a GRE operative, a uh, uh, man very similar to you. The operative who helped us was supposed to evacuate alongside us, but you can uh, guess how well that worked out, since Zara and I both got stuck here. Oh, be extra careful now. I never cleared the infected from that part of the facility, as I never had reason to go in there. I got separated from the two of them, but uh, I made it here to this clinic. I, I really had no other option than to work on finding a cure. Watch it. I'm opening the door. Sarah and the operative fell in with Brecken's crowd. I guess I would have as well if I'd been able to get to them. Uh, I'm sorry about this, but the only way to get to the generator room is through the ventilation channels. From there you can reach the hallway and then the generators.
Uh, push the button by the door to begin the process. Finally shaking hands with you. Now, let's have those tissue samples, shall we? Hey, Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 just, just, just one minute. Take quite a while. Now, what uh, what was it you wanted to say? Hey, that's him. That that that's the GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We uh we had a mutual friend. The samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? Crane, you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doc. And thanks. I'll be in touch. <laughs> 